Welcome again to the Old City Campus video blog. Happy 2016 and we hope you had enjoyed some time off the grid with your family and friends. This is our first episode of the year and we bring you the Old City Campus 16 Emerging Artists to Watch on 2016. Welcome back! Drew Marie. Drew Marie aspires to earn the title of artist and he works hard to convey a spectrum of feelings. Feelings like loneliness, vanity and even contentment. He paves a highway into the emotional world by creating empathy in the viewer. He had a big show at Zoe's Gallery last year. Also has been working with Chopin Down Films and a documentary film for over a year to bring awareness about Belize children's social situation. Marguerite Rumeau a graduate of Design Academy in Hoven and the Royal College of Art, Umon's work bridged technology, science, design and art with the deafness of a true polymath. Already in the collection of MoMA, Umon's strength in her ability to bring conceptual ideas to life. Up next, she will be at the Palais de Tokyo in June with a solo show created by Rebecca Lamarche Bedel. Hilda Palafox, Hilda Palafox aka Pony, is one of those illustrators whose drawings could be a poem. Her illustrations carry an air of pureness and at times a very elegant apathy. She enjoys mixing and matching techniques. For each piece, the results are always held together by gratefulness. Apart from her illustration work, she has been commissioned to adorn murals from the island of Holbox in Quintana Roo, Mexico, to cross the walls in Mexico City rooftops. She was part of the recent show 20x16 in Tampa, Florida at Cast Contemporary among great artists such as Greg Mike, Tatiana Suarez, Sanner, just to mention a few. Richard Coleman. Richard Coleman's work is known for blending figurative imaginary and bold geometry. Typically using symmetrical compositions, Coleman explores themes of human sexuality, life and death. His work ranges from small to large scale painting murals and installations. Coleman has been working as a professional artist for over a decade and has exhibited extensively in galleries and museums throughout the world, such as New Image Art in Los Angeles and his work has been in the cover of Juxtapose magazine. Cornelia Bartz After graduating from the UK's late School of Fine Art in London in 2011, she found an eager audience for her painting meets culture environments, which often feature traditional canvases hung on in unusual angles like her solo show Turner. Bartz has a stellar 2016 ahead, beginning with her second solo show at the Limoncello Gallery in London. Alejandra Atares. She studied fine arts at Universidad de Barcelona and the Massachusetts College of Art and Design in Boston. Based in Barcelona, Alejandra uses painting and collage to create bold portraits, all of which include subjects facing away from the viewer. The collage aspect of her work incorporates holographic paper, glitter, glass, sequins, paper and enamel. She meticulously arranges collage materials to create complex patterns in the fabrics adorning her subjects. Juliana Huxtable, a figurehead of a millennial internet savvy generation with search for a gender and an identity non conformism took them online, multimedia artist, DJ, poet and member of queer artist collective House of Ladosha. Since last year, she has been become something of an icon for the LGBTQ community. Performa and MoMA also team up later this past year to commission her a performance. Telmo Miel, artistic duo muralist and image makers, both Telmo as Miel, started working on their creative abilities from a very young age. It wasn't until 2007 they met in that period and they started working together on walls and grew to the ambitious artistic duo they formed today. Working together seems Lee, they both enjoy working in realistic styles with loads of contracts in subjects. Christian Conradi. Christian was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. He began painting at a young age and first started exhibiting in local galleries at the age of 19. With his studying art direction and design, after a two-year stint of advertising, he left the industry behind to focus on his painting. He has since exhibited internationally, including solo shows in Barcelona, Cape Town and Mexico City. He will have a new exhibition in Europe this year. Masato. Masato lives in Mexico City where he partakes in several collectives seeking social, political, environmental justice. His art is inspired by the work individuals and collectives due to shake off the noose around our necks. 
He had a recent show in London with amazing Mexican artist Fusca. Martina Merlini. Martina Merlini was born in Bologna, Italy. She received a degree in illustration from IID Milano and now lives and works in Milan. She had collaborated with clients such as Vice Italia, Selle Arte Contemporanea, Rivista Studio, Eli Edizione, Diner Journal, As of One, and the Milan Review. Merlini often showcases her work in Milan and throughout Italy and has shown work in notable contemporary art galleries in Amsterdam and the US. Dominique Petron. Dominique Petron is a multidisciplinary artist born in Montreal. In visual arts as well as performance, her interests cover towards producing altered states of conscience and perception, be it through cognitive or visual illusions or the use of hypnosis. She staged performances at the Frise Art Fair in London and at the Sorbres festivals in Lille and Munich. She was selected for the installment of the Quebec Trinal and the Montreal Museum of Contemporary Art. Jade Rivera. Rivera has directed his work as a self tough since 1997. He has been recognized for its large formal murals and also for the miniatures in different parts of the world. Along with his work as a street artist, Jade spends much time on his working in the studio exploring more traditional techniques such as oil and watercolor. He has been painting an amazing murals around the world recently in Holbox Island, Mexico, Cabo del Mar in California, and he was part of Artesano Project lineup in Nahua, Dominican Republic. Cinta Vidal. She studied at the Escola Massana in Barcelona. She learned from Joseph and Jordi Castells to love scenography and the backdrop trade. The architectural space, day-to-day -day objects are part of the metaphor of how difficult it is to fit everything that shapes our daily space, our relationships, work, ambitions, and dreams. Regarding illustration, she has been heading to the world of painting and creating her own work. She will have a solo show exhibition at Think Space Gallery in LA this year. Mateus Bailon. Inspired by myths, worldly folklore, especially from Amazonian Asia, his work seeks to recall the connection between the human being and nature. By making use of opposites and using different techniques, Bailon creates his own original mysterious and poetic language. Full of colors, his drawings and paintings are always very expressive. Mateus brings nature in the streets of Paris, Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Manchester, London, etc. Golandon. Gola's work shows the relationship between human beings and the biosphere. He explores themes such as collaboration versus domination, shamanism and return to the earth, energies and mysticism. Besides his work as painter, Gola also creates public installations incorporating living plants, electronics, music and live performances. He will present a solo show this year in Europe. Stay tuned. Well, thank you for watching, give us a follow and see you on the flip side. Thank you.